Full disclosure, I did in fact look up what to do next. Because I didn't want to waste a lot of time walking around being unsure. Let's see, we need that. We don't need this. We need these now. Alright. And apparently there's something in here. That I have missed. Oh, it's probably that. It's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, it also looks like an evil demon. You use the succubus talisman. <clears throat> what the hell? After he did the ritual of the Holy Assumption, other worlds began to force their way into his universe, and it began to swell horribly. But his universe is different than ours. It has limits. And in the limits of that universe, he rules as a king. And in the deepest part of his kingdom is his mother. Alright, this is the... which one's the guy? Temptation. Oh, it literally says. Never mind. Uh, watchfulness. Watchfulness? Oh, it was watchfulness. Okay. Uh, oh, it'll just say if you get it wrong. All right. Source. Chaos. And we have hole number two. There we go, my mouth is feeling sticky. <sighs> Let's go! The hole. Where will it lead to this time? Eileen. I wonder if she's okay. Uh, did I not look at her? And, well, I had to have. I have the. Succubus talisman. Like, I know she's dead, right? Of course, I guess I just saw the hospital run off. I didn't actually hear that she died, unlike the others. So she need not be dead. And according to this little guide I'm reading... Apparently I've missed a lot of stuff, but I'm okay with that. I'm this is sort of a casual playthrough, not like a hundred percent or anything. Enter the hole.
Eileen. Oh. Are you talking? No? Also, god damn it, I just realized I was muted that whole time. I was sitting here talking, having a great time, blah 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 blah. But no, I'm muted. That's figures. It's not too far from my apartment. Of course, everything seems to be centered around that one apartment building. How are we doing here? Next door. We've got another hole, or the first hole, I think. What's a woman's handbag doing here? It must be Eileen's. Looks like it could cause a little bit of damage. I like how he evaluates literally everything according to how much damage it can do. Wait, Eileen only weapon. You play as Eileen? I don't remember that. I sincerely do not remember playing as anyone other than him. And unlike a lot of games I own where I've played it once, never again. I have played this game multiple times over the years. I love the Silent Hill series. What is he looking at? It's a baby's medical chart. Is that it? Yeah. It's an elevator, but the door or button is broken and it's not working. And it's not responding. The door, oh, door, oh, okay, I think, I think I get what it's saying. Something is broken, it's not doing anything, gotcha. It's not elevating. Alright, we have stairs here, I will not go up yet. I want to complete my round on the first floor. A couple more doors to check. Ah, I remember these. Those weird burping nurses. I've never understood these things. I still don't. Why do they have burping giant nurses in this game? Oh, healing. I'll take that. It's actually interesting if you look at it and the way the game's working. Like I've done so little shooting relative to the other games. No, a lot of people point at like homecoming and go, "Oh, you're too physically capable. You can, you can actually have moves to kill things with like melee and guns and stuff." I'm having very little trouble with. Let's see, it's a bed with wheels. They must have moved patients with this. I wonder if Eileen is in this room. I'm having very little trouble killing everything with just the melee weapon. The light is broken and lying on top of the operating table. Like, it's not like Homecoming started the trend of making you combat capable and making the enemies easy enough to kill. It seems to have very much started with this game. 
Of course the lock is broken. Anywhere else? One more door. This is the way back though. This is where Walter was. And uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't go in there. Wait, wasn't that where the hole was? Oh no, it's not. Okay. I want to go back through the hole. I'm carrying too much stuff anyway. Now that we have cleared the first floor. Yes, I do save a lot in my games. Why do you ask? Let's see. Can you use a store health for a time? I'm not going to take that. Uh, I'll probably use this as a. I, I, I don't even use the gun, honestly. There. That'll probably be okay for now. Rabbit hasn't moved. Still staring at me. Accusingly. I don't have a problem with traveling back and forth to the between the other world and your apartment. Dude, it is kind of a bummer that's the only way to save. It is very time consuming to do that. <clears throat> Especially if you like to save a lot like I do. You want to like stay in the game and maybe pop into a save point save and then run back into it. But I am curious if I can go in here and see anything. Is he still prowling in here? No, it's just a nurse. Okay. Was that what he was doing? Was he making a nurse? The operating table. There's a blood-stained cover on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what's under that cover. It's a bloody operating table. That guy. What in God's name was he doing here? There's a strange human-shaped object. going I'm going this way okay now to the next floor whoops that wasn't it I think this is the staircase because that's how buildings work that's not sarcasm that's actually how buildings work <laughs> it may sound sarcastic but it wasn't Oh shit! They're being attacked by wheelchairs! Yeah! Oh. Uh. 
cannot fight the power of the wheelchairs. Uh, ah, huh? Okay. The game suddenly got real loud and ominous and spooky. There's nothing in here. There's a horrible smell coming from inside the broken glass. I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? The glass is broken. I'm, she's looking at, or he's looking at some. The four iron. Do I get something for getting an entire golf bag? That's what I want to know. This wall must be to prevent suicides. So how do you fight wheelchairs? Oh. It's a key. Hosp probably the key to Eileen's hospital room. Uh. This is bad. Ah. A power attack thing. I was wondering what happened, why that the yellow gauge at the top kept keeps filling when you push the button. It's a power attack. I see. And now I'm just completely stuck. Like, am I actually stuck? Do I have to restart? It seems like I'm actually stuck. Like, legit. Super attack. I see. Maybe I will use this. But I'm still stuck. <laughs> uh, seriously. Um. I can't use this here. I think I'm actually soft locked here. That's some King's Quest bullshit going on here. Let's see. How do I even get back to the main menu? Can't load or anything. And if I do it enough, something will happen. I don't think it's happening. I think I'm literally. Oh, wait. I have a key right here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you use the key that you got right there to open the door. Like, in my head, I was going, okay, this is clearly the key to Eileen's room. So it's not going to have any other purpose, clearly. I'm going to have to find Eileen's room, and I'll use it there. But no, apparently it's a multifunction key. It's a sterile room. 
Okay, you can just step on them as much as you want. Ah! Okay, I don't think you fight those. I think you just have to dodge them. Dried up flowers. The holy candle. A special candle with anti-spirit effects. Begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. A man's dead body. There's a lot of doors to check. And every single one is a unique room. You have to give them credit for effort. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? Uh, yeah, no. All sorts of medicines, but I don't know what any of them are. The bullets. It's some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Lovely. Take the revolver bullets? Oh, the revolver has its own ammo. I assume it uses the same bullets as the handgun. Okay. It apparently does not. Okay, screw you two. Someone had better fall down. Okay. Everyone's all nice and down. Some kind of skin. It smells so bad. Must be fairly new. My god. Is it human skin? No, motherfucker, all those rooms. They had all that healing too. Oh, screw you, wheelchairs. Oh. Darn it. Ugh. I have to go through all those rooms again. I mean, it's not like it took that long, I guess. Ugh. Oh, hey, you can move this ghost around. I never knew that. I thought it just popped around randomly. If you move the stick, it actually moves the ghost. All because of those stupid nurses and the stupid wheelchair. There's nothing in here. Okay, you were not there. I hate you all. 
Alright, there was nothing in here. Oh, wait, yes, there was. There was a golf club. anything in here such a weird room of course it got me <laughs> I was actually stuck there for a while so I guess it's well designed like the idea is to trick the player into not realizing that the key they just got is the key to the door, and they did a fantastic job. Oops. Because I did not see that coming at all. I don't think there was anything in here. The brains can live. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Got bullets. Oops. <sighs> Revolver bullets. So many wheelchairs! Alright, this is this place. I, there's nothing in there I want. Alright, I think they're stuck down there. Oh man, that stinks like hell. What the hell is it? What the hell? I can see cloth coming out of the bottom of the cloth. Oh, legs coming out of the bottom of the cloth. They really still surprised by dead bodies at this point. I should at some point realize that, yeah, there's dead bodies around. Oh, he used the key. Oh, hey. There's a scalpel, scissors, and other surgical instruments here. What are they doing here? true and there was a kid with you I 
I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world too. Anyway, the only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay. Take me with you. This is a nightmare. It can't be happening. God damn it! <laughs> I keep hitting pause for cutscenes and then forgetting to unpause it. Or, not pause, mute. That's it. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, I should just avoid the mute button from now on. If I can't be responsible with it. I'm surprised the really weird stuff hasn't started happening yet. Wait, I'm not healing. Uh 
Oh crap. Why am I not healing? The air in this room feels heavy. Crap, it stopped healing me. I was relying on this. I can't hold anymore. Okay. Don't panic. I just need to be more careful. Uh, that. That. Until I find out what to do with this, I don't need it. She can keep her bag. I will keep a healing thing on me. For emergencies, I still have the revolver and some bullets. It's a red envelope. There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well. That horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with a placard set in it, look on the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him. And look for the ultimate truth. July 20th, Joseph. Hello. Scrap from a diary. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. After that, his name became famous all over the world and it looks like his string of mass murders is finished at 10 out of 21. But three years later, they found a corpse that had 1221 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. The M.O. was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 1221 victims still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis. But they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crime, so it would probably be able to copy Sullivan's M.O. so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answers there. June 11th. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they found the body of 1421. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written. Oh, there's another thing here. The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case. So I figured things probably hadn't been touched here. But I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. This diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. On top of that, Written on the coffin were the numbers 1121. June 14th. Alright. 
Good stuff. Well, bad stuff for me. Emotionally, but... Good stuff, narratively. Oh, wait, that's not accusing. He's saying, you go find her. I'm too busy being a bunny rabbit. Yeah, I am unnerved by the fact that it's not healing me now. I was totally operating on the assumption that healing would last forever. It's my fault, I suppose. I have to start really being careful. I mean, I know what happens to the room later on. I don't know why I expected the healing to last forever. Of course, it wouldn't be healing you while there's all sorts of weird crap going on in the room. time yeah and I didn't see any hole either you just disappeared all of a sudden I can't stay here by myself I'll be cursed I know it what am I gonna do I might know a way to save you do you know about someone named Joseph Let's do that. There must be something down there. Okay. I'll do it. You're the only chance I've got. I'll stick with you. There's something funny about that delivery. It's said to go down into the deepest part of him. Let's do that. I don't know, something about that line just tickles me. Let's do that. Very matter of fact way to put it. Let's do it. How the hell do we do it? Doesn't matter. Let's just do it. We'll figure it out. Once you get to this point, they've seen enough weird crap where nothing surprising anymore. Alright. Oh, we made it pretty far down. Alright, start here. I need to start collecting stuff. There are a bunch of x-ray pictures stuck up on the board. Are these Eileen's x-rays? X-ray pictures on the floor. Eileen? Why didn't Eileen come in? Did she already vanish? Eileen? Was she always gone? I didn't notice before? Eileen? Did I accidentally outrun her? Oh, freaking hell, Eileen! Okay, apparently I have to wait for her. I thought she would just sort of be there, but apparently she's very slow and I have to wait for her. I mean, she is injured. So. 
If I had a broken arm and it looks like a sprained leg or something, I would probably be extremely slow too. Nutrition. Oh yeah, there was a healing thing in the other room. I want to go get that now that my healing powers do not work. Alright. It's a sterile room. Which one is the sterile room? in here it's wet from rain that's why there were brains going on it everyone know brain those brains grow in the rain the saint medallion oh another one of those There's a nice soft afternoon light coming in from the window. Is time flowing differently here? Or is this some kind of light from heaven? I don't think there's any heaven here, pal. Alright. <laughs> Wait a moment, please. Doesn't look like I can go any further. Okay. This is the... It's watching me. Whatever the heck it is. Okay, I can use that if I run into more ghosts. This is impassable at the moment. And so we have everything. It's probably for calling the elevator. Should I push the button? Actually worked. Ah. Oh. All right. Nice to have a partner. Everything's broken except for the open close button. Oh, I can't actually go anywhere. So where do I go? Let's see. There's nothing else to open on the first floor. Uh, are there any puzzles that I don't remember? Oh, wait. That giant head is clearly a ghost. <laughs> so maybe if I use the candle, I'll like shoo it away.
I'm hoping to see myself start healing again. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. Maybe I've been holding something that somehow weakened this. Wait. The bad feeling is getting weaker. It must be this medallion. healing but I will take this actually if the anti-spirit stuff is for the room then it won't be this right I'm mean, gonna have two things here that look like potential puzzle pieces the doll and the candle so we can try these I'll keep that just in case. Uh, I don't need all my ammo. I want her to have a weapon. Do I want to keep the nutrition drink? Here, where's my knife? Let's try it for a while. Okay. I don't have a lot of room, but hopefully I have enough room. Don't know what that clicking is, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, the ceiling fan fell. The ceiling fan is falling down. This room is so oppressive. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't want my medallion to break. Yeah, it's always kind of a sinking feeling. When your safe zone in a game is no longer safe. It's like the first time Mr. X barged into the main lobby in Silent Hill 2 Remake. It's like, wait, that's breaking, that's against the rules. What the hell? Where did Eileen go? Did I accidentally ditch her again? Eileen? Shit. Did I just screw up? Ugh. Why are you so freaking the boy that helped me? I wonder if he's okay. You use a small key. Aha. Okay, I think those are nurses. If I can get them one at a time, that would be ideal. Oh, why am I using this knife? This sucks. Oh, no. oh shit. Oh. 
Oh my god, where's my axe? This knife sucks! Oh my god, this knife is terrible! Oh, why did I even try this? That is awful! Of course, I also have guns. I could try that. I'm going back just to get my axe. That knife is just garbage. Where's my axe? There. I do feel like melee combat in this game is way easier than it is in the other games. Just in general. Alright. I might use the gun here. Just to take out one or two. Three is too much for melee. Actually, yes, come up here alone. Perfect. Wait, no! Oh. Is that intentional? That they fall away from me when they go down? So that I can't stomp them? Alright. That actually went okay this time. No gun required. You are staying down. I don't care what it takes. Alright.
That's her, right? Yeah, I think so. Continue around the spiral or go to... Oh, I don't have a map here. Let's see what's down here. Oh, a hole. Nice. I was just thinking of going back and saving. Because those nurses were a pain in the butt. Oh, you can... Oh, you can do all sorts of crap with it. Do wants another healing item. Nutritional drink. There we go. For emergencies. All right. Excuse me. I just want to save. All right. Bye. Have fun in the house. I can't just leave Eileen all alone. I mean, I've done it multiple times by accident. Candle. Those are probably for the room to protect me from the ghosts who are now haunting it. Turnstile office? Hello, Turbojet! Yeah, I'm just playing some good spooky Halloween games. I wonder if Joseph is still alive. It's unlocked. Yeah, I've eaten Resident Evil 4, Metroid Dread, which I classify as sort of like semi spooky. Didn't this one get bad scores? Relatively speaking. Like, it's definitely got better scores than the later games. That was Dread. It was fantastic. I can wonder whether what other little complaints I might be able to come up with for it. There's no denying, it was amazing to play. There's just no taking that away from it. Oh, we're back here. My leg hurts. Where are you, monkey man?
Okay, I think oh. I actually need the. As a veteran Metroid fan, it pleased me. My only problem with it is that it didn't really feel like you were ever lost. Like, the game was super, super careful about directing you where you're supposed to go next, so it never really felt like you were ex Okay, it felt like you were exploring, but not to the extent where you could go too far back and not know where to go next, you know? Like, it was a fantastic action game. It was amazing, on that front, at least. Let's see. You'd be surprised people still got lost. I know... <laughs> I've heard about that uh, big, uh, I won't say his name just because I don't want to be mean to people. I don't want to, like, do that. But the whole controversy surrounding it from a certain big-name game developer who decided the game was bad because he didn't know how to shoot blocks. The only graph is the soundtrack. It's not that it's bad, but it only does its job. It doesn't really stand out. I mean, I would honestly say that uh, most of... Uh, most of the Metroid soundtracks, like, I don't remember many tracks aside from the main theme from any other games, to be honest. And they're all great games in their own way, but... Yeah, I actually played, uh... Zero Mission on stream, and I don't remember any of the music from that either. Like, I don't remember them being bad. I didn't hate them. I just don't remember them. And for me, not remembering it means it didn't stand out very much. <laughs> you do good at immersion, but it's not an absolute jam or something. Yeah. And that's alright. There's nothing wrong with a soundtrack that's good at what it's supposed to do. Uh, let's put the doll away for now. I think we need the tokens again. And if these are for the room, we don't need these. I can go ahead and save again. How far are you in the game? This one or Metroid? It was this one I'm probably a little over halfway. Oh, hello. Notes. It's a filthy envelope. You know what? Both. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I beat Dread. I absolutely beat Dread. It was a blast to play. I did not want to stop playing. And I'm kind of that with Metroid, uh, Metroidvanias in general. I realized recently I just love Metroidvanias. I always beat pretty much all of them I play. It's almost uncanny, considering I don't beat games anymore. In this, I would say I'm a little under three quarters of the way through. Probably. A little over half. There's a letter and a toy key inside. Mommy, I'll give you this, so please wake up soon. It's inside my toy train. Hmm. A scrap of red paper. I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts that seem to be very effective for evading the ghost victims. The Holy Candle and the Saint Medallion. Not only are they effective against the ghost victims in the other world, they also seem to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in and its holy power is activated. The Saint Medallion seems to repel unholy energy when it's worn. I'm starting to gain some hope. I still still got to finish the first Silent Hill game on my PS3. I played that one on stream too, and I never actually beat it. Kind of got lost right at the end, basically, and I just never went back and did it. Kind of a bummer. I'm thinking of having like a bunch of time where I go back and beat some of the games I've streamed but never beaten. I could, I could go back to the second Lunar game. I could go back to Silent Hill 1. I wish I could hook up my headphones to it. You can't hook up your headphones to it? To the PS3? Your uh, TV doesn't have a headphone out then? You could just plug it into your TV. Most have headphone jacks. I think.
I might try that. That's actually what I'm doing right now. I actually have my headphones plugged straight into the TV. Going full grudge on this. All right, can I run past her? That's the question. All right. Yep, yeah, just ignore. Cool. I figured I couldn't because of how I would have to connect it through the controller. Now that you brought that up, hell, I think I'd do that instead. As long as your system is actually outputting audio to the TV, it will absolutely work. Which it should if it's plugged in through HDMI. As PS3s tended to be. <laughs> yeah, I have the PS3 hooked to HDMI. Then yeah, if your TV has a headphone out, you can absolutely just plug your headphones into that. I feel like I'm going the wrong way, though. I'll say the PS3 is super stuttering with what HDMI cable it wants to use. Is it? I tend to keep HDMI cables forever, so I haven't run into any problems. Okay, I think she can't attack me right now. No, she can't attack me. Never mind. She totally can. Commuter ticket? I guess I can't get it though. Ugh. Oh, I know what it does here. It stops the damage over time effect. Got a higher quality HDMI cable for it since the old one was from CVS, but for some darn reason it won't output or recognize the new cable. Hmm. That's weird. I thought all HDMI cables were sort of backwards compatible. Okay, apparently if I'm supposed to go in that second... HDMI cables are different. There was an output 1080p, and others go all the way to 4K. Yeah, but even if you got a 4K cable, it should still output 1080.
PS3 doesn't agree with you, so that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, I can't argue with the hardware, I guess. <laughs> like, no, you work! It's gone. No, no, I really don't. Can't argue with results, or lack thereof. Down on the escalator. That's weird. It's a dead end. You can totally go up the down escalator. Come on. That is not a dead end. Screw you, video game logic. Oh, what game was I playing where the character was actually doing stuff that you would actually do? What game was that? It was actually Resident Evil 4. It's like, oh, this door is locked. Just kick the goddamn thing in. <laughs> or blow it up, or whatever. Leon didn't play that crap in that game. Okay, occasionally he did. Okay, so the only way for me to go is either past the office or down the street line. Unless that's going to be one hell of a kick to knock a door like that down. I mean, yeah. I love the ghost noise just fading and appearing. Ooh, oh, she's there! It's then silence. Uh, nope, she's gone. Ooh, nope, she's there! The game's slowing down. do not want to attack, do they? Okay, camera, I need you to cooperate. Yeah, I don't know what it is about these stupid freaking subways. This is the only place the camera has done this. Only way to go is down that station line, so I have to go there. I'm lost. How do those things sound like a panther, a bear, and a monkey at the same time? The sound effects in this game were really, really weird. Like, the nurses in this game literally burp when you hit them. I do not understand it. I don't understand the sound direction in this game sometimes. You stomp on them and they, like, grunt like women, but you hit them with an axe and they start burping. I legit forget that this is a Konami game. Yeah. It sure is. 
It's Konami as hell. Kind of surprised I hit it with that. Okay. Where are we going? He locks in on it. Nice. All right, let's see what's over here first. Long, spooky stairway. And that quadruped creature sounded like both a lion, a mouse, and a cougar. Quadruped. I assume you mean the. No, quadruped. Oh, the dogs. Yeah. Very weird stuff going on there. There's a horse riding crop here. Take the riding crop? Sure, why not? Eileen only weapon. Looks like it'd be very painful. Want a riding crop? There you go. Getting a lot more healing stuff now. Yeah, have you ever played this game before? I don't know if you're into the Silent Hill games, aside from one that you've played. I only played the first one, so I have to finish it. I highly recommend them. Even the fourth one's pretty good. And I'm actually of the thought that I know a lot of people really hate the ones after 4. Like, 4 got mixed reviews, but the ones after this got pretty much universally hated. But I actually liked Homecoming. I've heard the second one is amazing. It's... good? Uh, give me a minute. I have to deal with stuff here. Let's see. Oh yeah, this thing. Aha! There's a filthy toy coin inside the box. Coin caked with dirt and grime. Better clean it in the kitchen sink in my room. This game keeps doing that. It keeps telling you the solution to puzzles. Like, my first thought when I saw the word filthy was, hey, I can take that to my faucet and clean it. And then it just says, hey, take it to your faucet and clean it. Cool. I've heard the second one is amazing. Um, it was fantastic for the time. It was an incredible experience. But I played it recently, and it doesn't hold up as well as I hope it would. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I streamed it if you want to watch it instead of playing it. Well, no, I, won't. I'll just, I would still recommend playing it, at least once. Especially if you like the first one now. Like, if you're playing the first one now, and if you like it, you'll definitely still love the second one. But they have aged. They have indeed aged. Oh wait, I bet this is the coin to the King Street line. So that would just mean I have to go back and wash it. I don't really need to get through the trains. Is 
Hell, if you like Silent Hill 1 now, I'd recommend, yeah, all four of the first Silent Hills. At least. Uh-oh, I think left behind. And possibly some of the ones after that, if you're inclined. Because I didn't play most of them. I did play Homecoming, and I'm one of the few people who actually did like that game. First gameplay is super tanky. I actually like tank controls. I'm one of those weirdos who does like tank controls, especially in games like this. Any game where the camera is going to be like swinging around wildly and like dynamically swooping and stuff like that, I like tank controls just because that keeps your control stick from like spontaneously reversing when you enter a new room and weird control stuff like that. Like tank controls had its place. People make fun of it, but they did have a use. I like Resident Evil tank controls, I'm not sure if I jive with Silent Hill's tank controls. I mean, they always felt the same to me. It could just be me though. Can't use this here. Yes, you can. Excuse me, ghosts. Give me a minute. I need to do this. Maybe someone meant to write one dollar. Okay, and what good is that? That is not what I hoped it was. Oh. A few days after Walter killed himself in his cell, several residents witnessed a long-haired man with a coat here. Through his window, Richard Braintree in 207 saw the man moving something heavy and doing something in room 302. Even Sunderland, the superintendent, saw the man with the coat hanging around room 302 and confirmed there were signs of someone having been in there. July 17th. Yeah, I th oh, that was my medallion breaking. Ooh, that sucks. I don't need this anymore. Uh, I might need those. I'll keep the nutrition drinks for safety. I'll keep the gun for safety. I'm not sure what that ticking is. Oh, is it that thing? I think it's the oven. Look, I have any reason to go near the oven. So, leave it, I guess. <clears throat> so, it wasn't the token I need, it was a $1 coin? 
Ah, big ghost. Alright. Toy coin with one dollar written on it. Hmm. I do have to go through the train. <laughs> Unless... Maybe it just has one dollar written on it and it's actually a token. <laughs> oh, good job, Eileen. Nice. came. Mm. Oh yeah, this is blocked off. get whatever this is. This came out of the vending machine. Murder scene key. Okay. Because why wouldn't there be? Curious, you ever play Uncharted? I have. I beat the first one and I played a chunk of the second one and the fourth one. I actually have the collection on PS4. The remastering job is beautiful. So what do you think of the movie that's coming out? I mean, I think Tom Holland looks way too young for the role. And that's about all I think of it. <laughs> like, I would expect someone who looks more like uh, Nathan Fillion to play freaking Nathan Drake. Not Tom Holland. Very much seems like the kind of casting that's, oh, this guy is super popular right now. And we need a big name for our posters. Let's get Tom Holland. Okay, there's I. Yeah, Nathan Fillion looks a lot more like Nathan Drake. Might be a little old now, but yeah, he would definitely work. There's so many people who would work better than Tom Holland. He's like, uh, what's his name in, uh, Scott Pilgrim. Like, you know the, the, comp the producers only insisted on hiring him because of his, how big his name was at the time. Like, he did not fit that role at all. And Chris Evans? No, uh, wow, what's his name? The Scott Pilgrim. The actual Scott Pilgrim actor. I can't remember his name. The really nerdy guy who was in all the... Played the nerdy guy in all the movies. And yet in friggin... No. I mean, it's... Exactly that kind of situation. 
Like Chris Evans would actually work as Nathan Drake, though. That is a good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. But yeah, it's like, what's his name? Is Scott Pilgrim or uh, Scarlett Johansson is the lead character in Ghost in the Shell. Like, you can practically hear the, the studio going, we need a big name for the posters. So we're going to hire this person who is one of the biggest names in Hollywood right now we can afford. And it doesn't matter if they fit the role. Nothing else matters. We just need a big name. Where am I? Okay, I can get out here. I think there's a hole up here I can save in. And some stuff I didn't get before. Nice. Ah, shoot. Wow, hear that crack! I'm trying to avoid too much political commentary, but there is some commentary to be made about the fact that the woman in the game has had two weapons so far. A purse and a riding crop. <laughs> there is something to be said about that. for her. Yeah, those have been her weapons so far. A purse and a riding crop. Those are her weapons. Meanwhile, I have a baseball bat, an axe, a knife, a pipe. A writing crop? No, riding. You know, like you use for horses. Or for other less wholesome activities. <laughs> yeah, now I see what you mean. Yeah. It's a little bit... Mm. healing. I have a crime scene key now, but I don't know where the crime scene is. Ugh. My major problem with this game is the way the camera... Like, you want it to be behind you, but it doesn't go behind you. It stays in front of you. So you're running towards the screen. If there's enemies there, you're just kind of screwed. Alright. 
I will assume we go up. Oh, healing. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, hmm. Okay, we can't get out from here. Right, we can still go through this area. Maybe we need to just go through the whole thing again. a ladder with my arm like this. I mean, you can. I mean, it's possible. It is possible, totally. You can do it. If you're determined enough. You just lack determination, that's what I say. That's a little creepy. You just can't climb as fast, really. I mean, it might be super dangerous. <laughs> but I mean, look where you are right now. If your options are stick around there or climb, wouldn't you do it? I sure as hell would. And there's some ghosts chilling over there. Let's see. Now, I'm confused about where to go here. Like, I don't want to go too far from her. I have no idea what this worm thing is supposed to be. Holy candles now. It's unlocked. Oh, do I have to go back around and get her? I do, don't I? Ugh. I have to run all the way through the trains again. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, real quick. Like, ghosts don't really matter if you move fast enough.
Aha, uh -huh, ghost can't use left stairs. Oh shit, I remember this. I don't want to do this. I know what that is. That might be where I'm supposed to go though. Yeah, because that goes back to where the end of the level was the first time. Like, maybe there's the King Street key there? Maybe I should go back up here real quick. I'm saved after the trains, so whatever I do, it should be alright. sounded unpleasant. Yeah, some of the sound effects are really good. Really? Here's the long staircase in Mario 64. Yeah, kinda. Oh, with more hell demons in it. Alright, where did I end up here? Break out the pistol. I'm actually acquiring a lot of ammo. Because I don't use any of it. Okay, yeah. Cynthia left all this behind. This was Cynthia's. For the subways, King Street and Lynch Street lines. Okay, cool. I see. So at this point, wait. I think I still have to go back through the trains to get her. Ugh. Unless I want to just ditch her. Like, this is the room I'm going toward, though. Maybe I can just save real quick and see what's in the room. Whoop. I don't think that's actually a thing. It's a fake out. Ha! See? It likes its hell demon noises.
Okay, having it right next to the bed is very unhelpful. Maybe I should actually cleanse that. Epilepsy warning be damned. What do you mean you can't put it here? Put it down! Bad feeling is getting weaker. Holy crap! What did that do to my health? Oh my god! Holy shit! Uh, okay. This is bad. I don't even know if I can get over there to save. Uh, keep the riding crop. Get rid of that and get my pistol out. Because I have a crap ton of bullets. 70 bullets! 70 bullets! Ugh. <sighs> And I oh, I can use my health pack. Oh, I already have one. Okay. Yeah, I see people talk about epilepsy warnings a lot lately. For good reason, obviously. Like, some games probably should have had it that didn't. <laughs> I was like, I feel like most of the time when people throw it around, it's just sort of a... Like, any flashing light. Literally any flashing light. Like, not just any flashing light is likely to cause it. Lately? Yeah, especially since... Uh... Well, I guess it was Cyberpunk that started it. Like, obviously people with epilepsy were worried about it, but lately it seems like the entire internet just keeps going on about it. Oh, there's this one part with a three-second white and black flash. It needs an epilepsy warning. Like, I remember playing Mega Man 2 back in the day, and that never caused any, like, huge... controversy. You kill that black jag and it literally fills your entire room with white and black flashes. Burning your eyeballs was just part of gaming back then. Yeah, no, I just think people overreact to things and Maybe worry a little too much about things that are worth worrying about, but probably don't need to be brought on everyone all the time. I'll go around this way, I guess. I don't know, I wanted to see what was in here. Murder scene key. Ah, this is the murder scene. I got you. What's a train handle doing here? Handle from the King Street Line train. It's like a key needed to run the train. Does any of that make sense? Wait, what makes sense? The whole, uh... Some, like, things like epilepsy are worth keeping in mind if you're a game developer. But... Average people just yelling epilepsy at anything that blinks? is a little much. <laughs> like, has it actually triggered any epilepsy in anyone? That's what I want to know. 
Because most of the time it seems like no, but people keep yelling it anyway. Let me off. Okay, run like Sonic. What the hell is that? I understand if they're trying to play it safe, then sorry, but I know what you mean. Like, as far as game developers, that's fine. You want to make sure your game doesn't hurt anybody, but I mean, as far as, like, the average person. Just the player. Unless it actually starts causing problems, there's no reason to get all uppity about it. Through the driver's seat window, I can see light coming from the side of the tunnel. So are we just ditching Eileen here? Car moved about one car length. Oh, okay. Is that helpful? Ah! Can I just leave Eileen there? Hey, a sword. I can't just leave Eileen. Okay, now it's time to go get her. This is not where I wanted to go. She was over here. Oh god, I just realized what I have to do. Oh my god, I have to go all the way back around. Go back down that stupid... Oh my god, this is going to be hellish. We have to go all the way back around to that bottom area we just came from with her. And she can't go down this ladder. Ugh. Rip. That's what I call padding. <laughs> That's padding and a half right there. We need this game to be longer. Let's just make the player circle this one area like five times. Actually, no. Can't I go up here? And... Did this lead to one of the turnstiles? Or did this just lead to a bonus? I think it just led to a bonus. Yeah, nothing. Anyway, as long as there are no ghosts, I'll be okay. Wait, I just moved a train. Was it one of these trains so I can just walk right through? 
Probably not, no. It wouldn't be so generous. I won't say it. I'm not gonna jinx it. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a concession on their part. I'll take that. I do still have to get down the escalator, though. With her. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to go save before I attempt this. Like, my room may not be safe, but it's safe enough for me to save. How are my items looking? Uh, I won't use the sword. Other than that, I'm fine. least favorite parts of the game is having to do all that just to save. They should let you go to the hole and say, do you want to save or go home? You can choose either go home or save. That's what I think. Having to go through all that just to save every time is a bit tiresome. Just go home and call it a night. Screw all this jank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not really jank if it's intentional. Like, they meant for me to do this circle here. They actually sat down and said, we should make the player do all of this. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I meant what's happening in the game, not how it's playing. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do it. You better have fast legs, lady. As I'm a running. Super speed! Ah. Go! Thankfully, I don't think her life is limited. I don't think she can die. I can, though. I definitely can. You think you'd want to test that theory? I mean, she got hit however many times, she didn't die there, so... Okay, now I need to go through the train. Wait, am I not where I think I am? Oh, it's over here, okay. She coming? There she is. what that was but kind of gave me boss vibes oh shit <laughs> why won't you aim at him there you go oh wait I still have ammo nice yeah you go away should I have just run for it and I think I got him. Oh, he holds and handles the gun like the protagonist did in the first game. Uh, who? My guy? Yeah. They're all supposed to be amateurs. So they just sort of point at his stuff. And hope that it dies. <laughs> kind of one of the things that sets it apart. Because all the Resident Evil protagonists are like gun experts. They're good at what they do. Silent Hill? No. None of these guys have any idea what they're doing. So, hmm. I got him to run away. Well, mostly. Yeah, there's a couple of people in Silent or Resident Evil, I guess, who aren't. I wouldn't call Claire from RE2 or Ethan from RE7-8 a gun expert. Maybe not an expert, but at least in the remake, Claire did own her own gun. She had it for protection, so you would assume that she at least knew how to use it. I don't remember if that was in the original. No, it wasn't, because Cla Leon had to give her the gun. And Ethan is just sort of weird. Ah. I can't just... Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Ethan is just an enigma. Yeah, he's basically an immortal super being.
I think it was said that she learned a bit of firearms from Chris. Ah, that doesn't make sense. And he's just gonna patrol this area. Eileen! Eileen! Ah! Eileen, get your ass over here! There! Jesus! I wasted so much going back in there. I didn't need to. I hate that. I hate being wasteful. That's why I currently have 60 bullets in a game where ammo is supposed to be scarce. I was about to say, most of the noise has stopped, but some of them are still going. Okay, we need healing badly. So far in the first game, I ended up having so many pistol shotgun rounds. Probably because of how stingy I am with ammo from RE. Oh, I did that with the second game. No spoilers. But I was so stingy with ammo in the second game. But I had an absolute arsenal of weaponry by the end. Like, I'm way too stingy for this game, apparently. Stupid Resident Evil has trained me to never fire bullets. So I ran from everything, and by the end, I was I could have taken on an army of the final boss. It was nuts. And some pistol rounds, just to use them. Of course, I also did that with Resident Evil Code Veronica. I streamed that too, and it was like, by the end, I had so much ammo. Apparently it's just a thing I do with horror or survival horror games, yeah. I need to play more survival horror games that aren't these series. There's some good ones, like I own uh, The Suffering. Just horrible. At least the second one. I've been wanting to play the rest of Fear Effect 2. It's kind of survival horror. I can't think of any others I own. That aren't Resident Evil or Silent Hill. Uh, I have Blue Stinger, but <laughs> no way to plug my Dreamcast into my computer currently. The requirements needed to get infinite rock ammo rocket launcher and Code Veronica is absolutely insane. I don't think I'll ever complete it with how insane it is. I gave up on a lot of the Resident Evil unlocks a long time ago. Oh, I unlocked it. Right, we are at the wish house, I think. Oh, that was her. Okay. There's weird writing here, too. Okay, where am I? I'm done here. No, oh, not bugs. I hate bugs. I'm not even going to waste time with you. 
Oh my god, screw off. Did I just ditch Eileen again? God damn it, Eileen. God damn it, Eileen. Get over here, Eileen. Now, if you come with me, thank you. One of the reasons I have so much gun ammo is I feel like it would be a waste to use it against most enemies. Maybe it wasn't, because I'm losing a lot of health here. Might as well use some of it. Two bullets. Good to know. Oh my god, some of these voice the sounds are getting kinda getting to me. Like they sound like they're in the room. They don't sound like they're in the headphones. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know how a wolf would get into my room, but... Oh, wish house burned to the ground. Full of wishes, clearly. Oh. There's a note on the ground. Something's here, but nothing's here. I feel something from the well. Something's missing. Ah! It has begun! Jasper. A charred doll's body is sitting in the wheelchair. There's a message carved into it. Though my body be destroyed, I will not let you pass here. To prepare for the receiver of wisdom, I cut my body into five pieces and hid them in the darkness. When my body is once again whole, the path to below will be opened. If you are the receiver of wisdom, you will understand my words. The ritual has begun. Alright, so find the pieces of the doll, I guess. Sounds like a fairly straightforward puzzle. I see a white thing over there. Is that something I can use? Oh, oh that's just a lamp. Never mind. Enter the hole. I have been going for a good while now, and I'm it's my second time streaming today, so I think I am going to call it for now. I'll probably be back at some point tomorrow. Just have to go save. In the hell room. Oh, that's pleasant. Uh, can I get to the safe thing without dying?
Hopefully. Alright. I am saved. Hopefully I won't instantly die when I load next time. <laughs> that would be bad. I don't know if that's possible, but that would be bad. And thank you for joining me, TurboJet. It is always a pleasure. Always a pleasure watching you play. Always a pleasure to have company to talk to. Thank you very much. I try to stream regularly now, like I've said. And everything I've played is uploaded to YouTube, too. The link is in my, um... It's in my Twitch profile thing now, if you want to look through older videos and stuff, too. And I will be back later. Later.